fantastic news story for particularly the local community um, who have been very supportive and, and patient while we've had to deal with this issue of getting the waste cleared from the site. And exactly how much uh, waste was removed then? So in total there was uh, 25,000 cubic metres of waste and so if you put that into context that's around about the size of 10 uh, Olympic sized swimming pools. So as you can quite well imagine that, that's a huge amount of waste. Yeah. And how long has that taken to remove them? That's taken around about 10 months from, from when the contractors came in. Um, they've obviously worked throughout that period of time and the initial kind of findings and the initial estimates was that there was a lot less waste so it has taken a little bit longer than we first uh, anticipated but they've continued to do that work and, and clear that waste out. Um, and the landowners have obviously been very well uh, uh, instigated into this um, and they've bought into it, they've taken on the responsibility to do so um, and they've basically paid for the complete removal of this waste uh, from the site which has meant there's been no expense to the taxpayer. Um, the landowners have spent uh, in the region of about £2 million to clear the waste from this site. So as you can imagine, um, and this is really a timely reminder and a warning to, to landowners out there about the kind of consequences uh, and ultimately the responsibility they have um, about clearing waste from, from their land. Um, whether that's waste that's been left from a permitted site or even if it's illegal waste dumping. And there's other cases across the country as well where landowners are paying out hundreds of thousands and if not millions of pounds. So I'm sure there's landowners out there who don't want to be left in, in, in that situation.